Universal City Walk. What? What? We're um, at Disney? No, we're at Disney. No. We, uh, you may know this, you may not. We absolutely love Universal, SeaWorld, and Disney. Yes. Um, and we're fans of other things, too, of course. But um, we are here for Halloween Horror Nights. This will. This is the 30th anniversary. Last year should have been, but with COVID. Um, this will be my 27th year. Going. I know. Brandon's been almost every single year. Well, I missed the first night. two or three. And I, I'd have to look back over my records, but I've gone for every year except the first two or three. And this is what for you? I think this is like my seventh. Seventh, yeah. yeah. We've been going since we've uh, known each other. Yeah. So, um, but we are not here to vlog Horror Nights, although we might take some video. Leave a comment below if you want to see anything. It's hard. We don't have the best camera setups for low-light photography and everything. But we are going to vlog. We are going to eat at Margaritaville. Yes, we are. This so. is actually, I think, probably our one of our favorite city walk restaurants. Yeah. I think. And I feel like a tradition. It's a tradition. It's a a tradition. Yeah, yeah, and it's very uh, gluten-friendly, correct? Yeah, they can do um, yeah. quite a few things gluten-free, so yeah. it works out pretty well. We've had great, great luck at Margaritaville. We always have, and until we don't, we're going to keep going. It's true. So, um, anyway, you ready to head in or check in, I should say? Yes, I went on Margarita and some food. Wasting away again in Margarita. Oh, are we getting copyrights on there? Oh, no, great. <laughs> All right, we're going to head on in. Um, yeah, so a little change of pace here at Universal, uh, Margaritaville. So uh, let's check this out, and we'll continue to give our honest and full thoughts. All right. So we just sat down, we ordered drinks. Uh, Sarah got a actual a, a margarita. As, I, as one should. As one should at Margarita, at Jimmy Buffett's Margarita Bill. That's right. And I got a gin and tonic. We also got, of course, I got a Coke. Sarah got a nice sweet iced tea, and we got, of course, water. Yeah. They gave us a choice. We didn't have to sit outside on the patio. The porch had a decision. Uh huh. But uh, we chose it just because it's a nice day out and everything like that. But uh, this probably won't be too long of a vlog. Uh, we are kind of. I can't believe we're saying this rock time crunch. Kind of everything because we do have horror nights to go to. But uh, yeah, hopefully uh, we get some good info here for everyone and uh, hopefully we enjoy it. But uh, as we said in our intro, Margaritaville has been really, really good to us in the past and uh, it's kind of become a tradition before horror nights. So uh, yeah, so we have not ordered our entrees or entrees. That's all we're getting is entrees. But <laughs> it um, looks like a burger, right? Yeah, you're going to get a cheeseburger gonna, in paradise. What are you going to get? I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. I'm on the porch of indecision, so I'm so not sure. On, yeah, uh, Sarah is indecisive. So let's work on that, and <laughs> you will see as we get our drinks. All right, so we just got drinks. I got just a uh, basic gin and tonic, nothing special. We have no napkins. We do not have napkins. We, have no napkins. we will get those next. We will get napkins. Um, anyway, just a regular gin and tonic. Are we ready for this? Song? Cheers. Cheers. We've gotten gin and tonics here before. They're usually very good, super solid. Their drinks are always very solid here. Yep, they're it's solid. Strong. It's strong. <laughs> um, it's not a double or anything, but Margarita Bill is always generous. I don't want to say this is the strongest I've ever had, but it's. It's more than you get at most places. You're going to have a heavier drink, typically, in our experience, Margarita Bell. Um, so very solid. Nice way to start the night. We are um, 
Halloween Horror Nights is known for heavy drinking for a lot of people. It is not for us. So no, we usually get like one. We usually get one drink before, and at most one drink during the night. So we don't know about that. Um, so yeah, no, this is very solid, and I'm more interested in Sarah's drink. She got an actual margarita, so. Okay, so when one is at Margaritaville, one should get a margarita. <laughs> so I got the perfect margarita. I did forget to ask no salt on the rim because I'm not a big salt on the rim fan of a margarita. But not that I get many margaritas, but I am. I love that salt. Yeah, margarita. it's strong. Yeah, they make strong drinks. They definitely make strong drinks. It's good. They have a bunch of different margaritas. I like kind of a classic on the rocks margarita, but you can get frozen ones. You can get all sorts of other different options. So. You like margaritas? You need to get one when you come. Yeah, I. Uh, one more sip. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> it's good. All right. All right. So burgers are here. I got the cheeseburger in paradise. I already took the tomato off because yep. I don't like tomato. Although um, you should be, you like yours with but not with lettuce and tomato. Not with Heinz 57 and French fry. Oh, you like French fry potato? No, but... And not a big let's kosher start out with pickle. Those delicious looking fries, though, shall we? And so they do have a dedicated fryer for the fries. Delicious. Fries here are very solid. Nothing to... It's not a there it is moment, but... Brandon likes anything that's a potato. Very solid fries, but... Very and, messy burger. Right yes, now. and the burger has, like, lettuce, tomato. It has a special sauce on it, cheese. It looks uh, really good. I've had it before. really too. good. Easy to bite into. Not a hard bun. Cook medium. They have to. No, feel like medium. Um, tastes like medium. Um, solid burgers. You can't go wrong with margarita, though. It's not AAA dining, but very solid city walk dining. We highly recommend it. It's really good. the Rancho Deluxe Burger on a gluten-free bun. It's a new ease time. Um, it's got Monterey Jack cheese, pickle, bacon, and then I got ranch on the side. And sweet potato fries also made in a dedicated fryer. I was debating. I really almost got the Beyond Burger. Which yeah. of course is gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan. Um, but I decided to go with this instead. It's excuse to come back to Margarita because we haven't been here in the time. So I'm going to try this with potato fries. Oh, you trying the fries? So sweet potato fries are great. I always like those, although I kind of wish I would have gotten regular fries, but these are very good too. Sarah does love sweet potato fries. I do love sweet potato fries. It's hard to get out. Okay, this burger is a mess. They are. Mm. Let's get a look at it. Yeah, burger patty itself is very good. Everything, like Brandon said, is it gourmet? No. They're very solidly cooked, though, for the price point. I yep. think it's a good option. And it's on a gluten yeah. And they have not poisoned this. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, like not and poison. hopefully they never will. Yeah, we've had very good luck here. Huh? So this is very good. Also, pro tip, if you're not a big burger fan, they have some awesome nachos here that are gluten-free. Oh, they're delicious. They're volcano nachos. Yeah. Like, they can feed like five people every day. So we got it last time, I think. I got them last time, right. and they were amazing. So anyways, the burgers are good. Nachos are good. And I'm glad they have three options. All right. Ready to eat? Yes, I'm very right. Our very quick dinner very is quick. done. Very quick. This will be a very short video. So when you see it, it might only say 10 minutes or something like that. Yeah, so. but at least we'll give you some plate weights from yeah. what we got. Um, the drinks are very strong. Drinks are strong That's there, yeah. Long. I, I <laughs> guzzled water before we left. So. Yeah, so I think overall, what do you think about Margarita Bill? Where are you I think it's very solid. It's not high end. Yeah, very solid. Um, if you're at City Walk, zero issues. Um, but more importantly, uh, gluten free, gluten free, or yeah. whatever. Well, I will say so. Um, City Walk in general, like most of the restaurants, they don't have the same protocols at Universal that they do at Disney. So you may or may not get a manager or a chef from the table. We did not tonight. Um, you kind of usually talk to things with your server. Although we have had a chef come uh, yeah. to our table at Margaritaville, but. They can do most of the burgers gluten free. They do have a dedicated fryer, and you know they will talk through those options. Again, nothing fancy, but if you want something, we have solidly been to a lot and have not gotten sick. We have not had to use an empty pen, so that makes me excited. 
Um, so yeah, it's it's one that I think if you like burgers or that kind of food, I think it's a good option. Yeah. If you are gluten free, especially. Yeah, especially, which is why we started going here because that was before I was diagnosed with uh, anything. Yes. But um, but yeah, so very solid. Again, quick video. Um, I got. Nothing really more to add. Very solid burgers, very affordable for what it is. Drinks are affordable. Yeah. But uh, yeah, other than that, nothing else. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I think if you're looking for a place in City Walk, um, this would be a good option for yeah. people. It has lots of different varieties of things on the menu. Yeah. We're looking at Alto Pitos, which is right across, which is my favorite at City Walk. It's next to Gimpy. We'll go delicious. there next time. I think we'll go there next time. Um, but those are my top two picks okay, when it cool. comes to City Walk. So yeah, we are, we are fed and we are ready for yeah. our Horror Night. Horror Night. Ooh. But other than that, thank you to all the patrons on Patreon. Thank you to everyone that likes, subscribes, hit the thumbs up, uh, leave a comment. Again, short video. Have you been to Margaritaville? Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. Give, give the man credit. Um, have you been to anywhere else out here? Have you been to City Walk? Uh, or would you like to see more universal type stuff yeah. from us on the channel? Yeah, just leave any comment you want. Leave it. <laughs> so um, other than that, we're about to go get scared. We're heading in now. All right.